business creating soap with beer. This morning we have more on the hoppy benefits and the new option she's offering for those with gluten allergies. I'm getting a little more crammed as you can probably tell. <laughs> It's been a year and a half since we last spoke with Elaine Kinney, the brains behind White Pine Bath & Brew. I've been expanding a lot physically, grown out of my space a bit. I've also been working with more breweries. Kinney is keen on getting her beer from production excess and brewery waste, which would otherwise go down the drain. Things like short fills or beer that's been overstocked and is getting a little old and maybe the flavor isn't as punchy but there's not technically anything wrong with it, but they're not allowed to sell it. Her products still reap the benefits once she boils out the carbonation and alcohol. The hops contains amino acids, which is really soothing for skin irritation. There's also biotin, pantothenic acid, and just tons of other essential vitamins in brewer's yeast. Customers get those extra vitamins compared to normal bars of soap, which typically use water. And I've also known, noticed that beer tends to enhance lather and make it a little more luxurious and frothy. Kinney has recently heard from more gluten-sensitive customers asking if her products are safe, and she also recently went gluten-free. And I've never had any issues with any of my beer soap, uh, gluten or otherwise but I definitely get that hesitation, that fear that you're gonna, you know, get hurt. So I wanted to offer something new in my lineup that I felt represented those people and gave them that extra sense of security. She's teaming up with Lucky Pigeon Brewing, a dedicated gluten-free brewery in Biddeford. It's very rare to find good gluten-free beer. Um, so I was really excited to reach out to them and I wanted to start using their beer in my uh, cocoa butter bar, which is a fragrance free bar. And now she's focused on spreading the word. I have had people at each market say, well, I don't necessarily know if I should have this, even though I'm not ingesting it. Um, and then I'm able to tell them, no, I'm gluten free too. This has worked for me. Granted, everyone's so different, but it's usually really exciting because they're like, oh, I want to try this now. You can find White Pine Bath & Brew at local markets as well as on her website, which we'll link with this story on WGME.com. And people who are going gluten-free, they kind of just want to feel included. I know. You know it's a struggle. And so many positives in this story. I mean, look, she's using a, the brewery waste. Exactly. And then also uh, helping to keep you clean with that. I didn't know that the beer made it more frothy. Exactly. And, and then again, the best part of getting gluten-free, I think, is so nice. I know. And she can connect with her customers, yeah. too. As uh, we said, she recently went gluten-free. So, again, that story will be on on our website. Uh